Do you miss having a keyboard at the bottom of your cell phone? No? Well, I do. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is a Google Pixel 7 Pro. This is a $45 Bluetooth-enabled keyboard that I purchased from Tindy that's running a custom firmware that I wrote. When I stick them together, I have a Blueberry. So what is Blueberry? It's just a funny name for the ZMK firmware that I built for this keyboard that I purchased. Link down below. I attached it to my phone via two magnetic plates and a magnetic MagSafe. So I have the ability to detach it, right? I can always pop it right back on if I want. Um, I also have the ability to take it off the bottom if I wanted to do it that way, completely up to me, I suppose. And then it just sort of fits back in. And then that gives me a good hold on how I wanna hold it as well. Cause it is quite large. It's about 221 millimeters tall on my Pixel 7 Pro. But what I've done within the ZMK firmware is I've configured mine to work just like BlackBerry 10 used to work. So if I type in the dog runs, I can then sort of type that sentence again by holding each key for 200 milliseconds and each key will become capitalized. Or I have the ability to turn on caps lock or use the shift key. So caps lock for the, I'll use the shift key for dog. So shift, shift, shift. And then I'll type lowercase for runs. Now it is a full fledged keyboard and mouse. So I have the ability to come over here. I can select this with my mouse. I can right click it. I can select all, I can delete everything if I wanted. I have the ability to do control all, right? So control A and then backspace everything if I chose to do that. I also can do control Z and put it all back. So all of my normal keyboard and mouse functionality is there. What I also did is I programmed the alt key to work like this. So when you select the alt key, I can type my number pad obviously, right? Get that in there. And then I also have keys like the P key that contain the at symbol. So if I tap the P key, it gives me the at symbol. If I hold the P key, it'll give me a percentage sign. You can see when I'm in the alternate, the layer one lights light up. When I'm not in the alternate, the lights go away. Uh, you also have the ability to configure the keys to do different things. So I'm using the dollar sign, not as a dollar sign, but as my notification shade. So I pull that down, put it right back up. I found a few things as I've used it. So Microsoft SwiftKey keyboard is by far the best keyboard to use uh, when you're using a physical keyboard. What I found is that I can configure it so that it keeps my top row, right? I can still use my co-pilot functionality. It provides autocorrect. Uh, if I'm typing a sentence and I start to play around with the capital letters, right? And then I say the dog runs and I hit space. The SwiftKey sort of goes in and knows to fix that. The Gboard doesn't do that yet. I'm hoping that comes in a further update. Also each launcher, handles the keyboard a little bit differently. So I'm using the Pixel Launcher simply because I really like the functionality of being able to jump where I need to jump. So I have this ability, I can jump back to the home screen. If I hit it again, it sort of pulls up my search window. I can type in what I need. I can use my mouse to come up here, I can select it. Uh, so that's all pretty cool. Depending upon which launcher you're using though, everything gets treated differently. So in this case, I like to use the little hamburger menus occasionally up in the top right. Because Android doesn't have a consistent input for that, sometimes my key here works to do that, and sometimes it doesn't. So there's not much you can do about that. It's just sort of app by app basis, launcher by launcher basis. The first couple of days are a little bit rough, simply because it is so large and tall on my phone. I have found that as long as I use it with a pop socket, I'm pretty good. And then what I'll do is if I'm using just the touch screen, I'll sort of shift up here and I'll hold it by a higher finger. And that gives me full flexibility to use the board. It works pretty well for me. Before I stick it in my pocket, I shut off the trackpad. So the trackpad can wake the phone and the keyboard can wake the phone, which is a good thing sometimes, but if it's in your pocket and sort of moving around all day, it continuously wakes the phone up and drains your battery. In terms of battery life, I haven't noticed a significant drain in using it. And the battery itself within the keyboard is actually just an old Nokia battery. You buy it on your own on eBay. Uh, and essentially what I found is this drains about 20% per day and I have it hooked up all day long. So I haven't taken this off since I've s completed my setup and loaded 200 firmware so far, but it's about 20% a day. It charges via USB-C. So I just pop them both off, charge them at the same time, put them back in, and generally I'm good to go. Beyond the custom firmware that I configured, which sort of remaps every key, and that's in the GitHub. You can look at that and you can always fork it and build your own. I'm sure someone will build one for iOS. Uh, right now mine is heavily tailored specifically towards Android. One thing I did have to do uh, is right now they come with raised shoulder buttons and a raised power button. 
so they sort of sit one millimeter above. I just took a metal file and flattened them. I talked to the creator. I think he's willing to print ones that are completely flat across the top if you reach out to him when you're buying it. Uh, also, you can 3D print your own case. Those STL files are online. I'm just not much of a 3D printer. I've tried in the past. I'm not very good at it. So, you know, pretty nifty. The other thing is when I put my metal uh, magnet plate on the back, I lose the ability to open the battery door. I can still get at the battery if I wanted to. I just unscrew these four screws and I can disassemble it. But just some things to keep in mind that this isn't a product. It's kind of just an open source thing for you to do whatever you want with. Thank you all for watching. Before I leave you with a little typing demonstration in monkey type, I wanted to just say that I'm extremely happy with this setup. I'd love to hear your feedback on either my firmware or my setup ways I can improve it. It's extremely strong right now. I'm able to, you know, take it in and out of my pocket by the keyboard itself. I can easily detach it, which was something that was important for me. And from what I can tell, it hasn't impacted my wireless charging at all. So that's pretty good. All of the opinions expressed in this video are my own and are not representative of any company or organization other than myself. What you see on your screen currently is a demonstration in monkey type. I'm averaging about 60 words per minute with pretty good accuracy. Microsoft Swift key is fixing any typos that I make outside of monkey type, so I'm happy with that. Please feel free to drop by the GitHub or the Discord. I would love to see any firmware that you all make, or if you could provide feedback on my firmware, I'd be extremely happy as well.